Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Darrell here bringing you the word for the day. The word for today is going to be coming out of 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. And it's going to be dealing with um, submission and also with faith. Let me read the word for you now. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by the brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. So as we dive into these verses, you know, as I said, a lot of it has to deal with submission. So in verses 6 and 7, it tells us to humble ourselves, therefore, before the Lord. And, you know, that, that can be tough for a lot of people to be able to humble yourself because, you know, it, it takes away the power that we want to hold on to ourselves. But knowing who God is, we should be willing to humble ourselves to his way, not ours. It also goes into saying in verse 7 about casting all of our anxieties upon him. So what does that mean? That means that we should be taking all of our problems, all of our issues, and laying them at the foot of the cross. God wants us to surrender all things to him. So we must learn to do this on a regular basis. Also, it goes on to say in verse 8, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering will be experienced by your brothers throughout. So what, does that, what should that mean to us? That means to us that to be sober-minded, to make sure that we're always vigilant, vigilant upon the things that are going on in and around us. Don't always expect Satan to come and slap you in the head and expect things to be so abrupt like that. You know, that's why they sometimes say that he's like a snake in the grass because he gradually comes up upon us and offers things to us that look nice and the next thing you know, we're caught up in sin. So let us be weary of all these things that we have to worry about. It also tells us as we move on in verse 10 that after we have suffered a while, okay, that there are all the other people suffering with us throughout the world. So don't think that you're alone in this battle as you walk with Christ, because you're not. There are other brothers and sisters that are suffering, and that's why we get to come together as a community of believers. So therefore, we get to know that there's strength in numbers. So it's very important that we have our life groups and things of that nature that we get to dive into having a community with other believers. It keeps us strong as other believers and Christians should be. As we close with this, it goes on to tell us this in verses 10 and 11. It says, after you have suffered a little while, the God of our grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore you, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him the dominion forever and ever. Amen. So what he's saying here is that God has called each and every one of us. Okay? And after he has called us, he loves us. And his grace is sufficient for us. So trust in him in all things. Give all things to him. And remember in the last it says all dominion, meaning all power. All things belong to him. He is in control. So no matter what is going on in your life today, no matter what's going on in this world today, God is still in control. Calvary, thank you so very much.